hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Azina Williams so this is the day four of the Big Brother Niger reunion special so today it started um, with the guys it was just like the guys section and there are lots of gif guys so apparently these guys had um, when they left the house they created a whatsapp group so um, Toby left the whatsapp group and he said the reason why he did that but because he wanted his peace of mind and i and miracle also left the whatsapp group and you know miracle wasn't there to tell us why he left but some of the housemates the male housemates were not cool with that and um, d1 said that miracle did not support his show remember d1 had this comedy show when he left the house and he said miracle was the only one among the housemates that did not support his show guys like it seems the guy is paying but even though he said not it's nothing personal and toby came to um miracles defense that whatever it is it must have been maybe because miracle was busy or something like that leo 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 i've always wanted to hear from that guy and i did and boy did i get an earful so he said that it's only Sissy that was there for him. You know, sadly, after the house, um, Leo lost his mom. Yes, it was a sad situation that it was only Sissy that was there for him. Even though some other guys called after the whole stuff, but it was only Sissy that stood by him. And um, Angel and D1, hmm, remember that fight that Angel and D1 had? Apparently, it was staged because they wanted to stir up trouble because they wanted people to like them and all that. It was staged, guys, and they had that to tell us. I was really surprised. And yes, I was really, really surprised. Like, this guy, guys had us fooled at that point. Angel said if he was to call anybody a fraud, it would be him because he saw himself as the biggest fraud ever in big brother niger house you know and apparently so because i i didn't like him like he was so full of himself and he was just there like a multiple of personalities yes and they played a game an interesting game they often play the house who would you kiss who would you marry and who would you jail guys um they had some said um kiss anto kiss alice and all that but i'll just you know give you the highlight of that game Toby said he will marry Anto, guys. Like I told you guys, there's something not going on right with Toby and Alex. Normally, he would have picked Alex, but no, he picked Anto. You know, most of the guys, half of the guys said they were going to jail Ifu and Ada. The other half of the guys said they were going to jail Chloe. It's only Leo that said he was going to jail Princess. Apparently, Chloe has been a ton in their flesh, even Ifu and Ada. Guys, in the juiciest part of this gist, Leo said he will marry Sissy if given that option. He will marry Sissy. And even when Ebuka asked him about his relationship with um, Sissy, he said that they had feelings, you know, beyond the professional what, what, what that went on. There was, was some feelings in there, guys. And when you said, um, when Ebuka said, you know what, maybe, you know, he's said maybe it's no longer, that was then, not now. Leo said, who told you it's not still going on? Are we sensing the relationship a lot, guys? I'm thinking these two are in love. Like, these two are in love, guys. So, um... Yes, that's like basically what's the highlight of the show, you know. And apparently, guys, contrary to popular belief that Leo and Sissy was doing whatever they are doing to um, get Toby and Alex jealous, um, Leo made us to understand that there was this time behind the scenes that he and um, Toby had a talk about Alex and he told, you know, Toby, if you like this girl, go on and, you know, go on with it. And apparently we were not shown that, that he said had it been, it was shown, maybe people's perception about him and Sissy wouldn't have been the same. And um, Toby even confirmed that, guys, Toby confirmed that and um they went on apparently d1 said he will marry bam bam and said they gave him that devilish look like excuse me you want to marry my woman as you serious of course that he said he will marry bam bam so guys that's basically all that happened you know 
them talking about a lot of things in the house how things went down you know that um Krebule, Krebule, i keep mistaking his name you know he said that they still don't understand him like they don't get him they still call him like this wise guy and they still don't get him guys and lolu i didn't believe lolu is 30 he doesn't look it you know he called toby a kid you know, Toby was like, I'm a man, like, yo, you're a kid, I'm older than you, I'm like five years older than you, you're still a kid, you know, and he was, um, Ibuka asked him if he thinks, you know, because of his intelligence that, um, he kind of like made everyone feel they were inferior to him, he said, no, and the fact that I know something about this doesn't mean that I'm, you know, superior to someone else that knows another stuff so guys that is like the highlight of this show that is like it was just the guys you know talking like guys and doing you know just talking like guys and it was fun guys i'm thinking maybe tomorrow it will be about the ladies i do not know i do not know but whatever it is your girls got you covered thank you so much for sticking with me for staying tuned to my channel for watching my video and if you are new to my channel please subscribe thank you very much so guys that's it all for today and sorry i couldn't put like any clip because of youtube regulations but trust me if you go to my instagram page my instagram page i'll leave some clips on my insta story you can go check it out now and see some of the highlights of the show thank you guys take care of yourself and be good